not much of a surprise, but week one was a bit of a paint and foul zone show. The Virginia Tech commit responsible for four scores in the 35 point victory. The visitors getting right to work, scoring just 100 seconds into the contest. After the 46 yard run by Marquise Wimberly to give Nazareth a first and goal at the eight. Two plays later, junior Jaden Wolf will punch it in from the one, giving the Blue Eagles a 6 nothing advantage after the missed extra point. Whitehall with only two possessions in this opening quarter, the first ending in a punt, while the second ends in an interception at the five-yard line. Zeffs were only able to get on the scoreboard via two Cole Richards field goals, the first making it 6-3 Nazareth with 7.46 left in the first half. The Blue Eagles running backs getting their share of TDs on Friday as Wimberley caps off a 10-play 65-yard drive with the one-yard score. Wimberley leading his squad with 90 yards on 11 carries. The Zeps were able to trim the deficit with another field goal but still trailed 13-6 to score at the halftime break. Whitehall starting the third with a three and out and Nazareth taking advantage. The Blue Eagles traveling 45 yards and finishing once again from the one yard line. This time it's the QB keep from Falzone four minutes into the third quarter. The junior quarterback finding the end zone twice with his legs. In fact, all five Nazareth scores coming on the ground in this one. The visitors would end up outscoring Whitehall 21 to nothing in this second half, while the Blue Eagles defense kept him out of the end zone entirely through four quarters of play. That en route to a 34-6 final score for a second straight win on the road for the Blue and White. Yeah, it's just kind of finding what works. Obviously, it was not pretty the past two weeks, but it's finding what works. Take what the defense can give us. We weren't really able to air it out a lot, but we were able to run the ball, and I'm fine with that because when we get the win, that's the only thing that matters. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Like, we, like you said, we came out a little bit slow this week. Obviously, that's something that we have to work on because same deal last week. Like We came out a little bit slow, but in the second half, we were building upon what we're learning in practice. We're practicing hard. We, are, we had a lot of growth from this week, uh, from last week to this week. So it's just something that we got to build upon the rest of the season. The Blue Eagles had a lot of question marks coming into this season thanks to some losses on their line and defensively, but some of those already being answered here through week two. And Coach Tom Falzone getting the nod of approval from daughter Phoebe and agreeing it is that work ethic that's led to their quick development. I don't know, what are you proud of the first few weeks, do you know? Um, the hard work that everyone puts into it. Love it, love it. She's so good, I'll take that. The hard work is there. I think our guys are working hard. They know it. We're, we're a work in progress here, and uh, we're trying to keep getting better. On the scene at Whitehall, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network.